heard ED from low self-esteem. I suffered from low self-esteem for years due to the fact that I was conditioned from a very young age. I remember since I was like five years old being told that just because of the color of my skin, because I am a dark-skinned woman, I have been conditioned. I remember in middle school when I first really started getting into boys, I remember multiple boys telling me, you're, you're a pretty girl, but you would be so much prettier if you were light-skinned. I'm dark-skinned that I am below everyone else on the color spectrum. can see it's me Lanise and I'm here with another car chat for those of you who are new to my channel my name is Lanise I've been an LPN since 2014 and I am currently a senior level nursing student in an LPN to RN transition program um, I am coming in well I'm not coming in I am in the middle of my uh, last semester so this May I should have my RN in I do these cool things called car chats because if you have ever been in nursing school, regardless if it was LPN, RN, whatever, nursing school takes up a lot of your time, but I still love YouTube, wanna to continue to do YouTube, so when I know that I'm not gonna have any time throughout the week to sit down and deliver you guys a message, I try to do it through these car chats. Um, now, I also explain that to explain that my camera is not uh, attached to my dashboard at all so if I slam on the brakes it might go flying if I hit a turn I usually hold it turns the focus off whatever you get the point but it's all about the message so today is Tuesday and on Tuesdays I volunteer at the Children's Advocacy Center because as a senior level nursing student we have to get 32 volunteer hours in and 32 may not sound like a lot but it is a it is a lot of hours whatever you think about the whole scheme of things when you have class Monday through Thursday when do you have time to volunteer other than the weekends or during the week like on your one day out of class so that's where I go on Tuesdays and it's cool um, the Children's Advocacy Center has taught me a lot about myself um, it is triggering at times because I've been through my own um, abuse and victimization and all that low self-esteem crap um, so it can be triggering, but it is very helpful, especially since I have a nine-year-old daughter. A lot of the things that I see at the advocacy center, I'm able to help my daughter get through. So that is a huge blessing. But anyways, um, <laughs> I'm here with the car chat today, y'all. And you guys will probably be getting a lot of car chats from me. Um... For, you guys will probably be getting a lot of car chats from me just over the next week or so because I am trying to go without social media and I'm also trying to go without uh, the radio which is very hard for me um, when I say radio I mean music because I'm still gonna use my radio to like listen to audiobooks listen to my lecture things of that nature but really just um, trying to get get out of the music thing for I want I'm want I'm striving for 21 days however I'm probably the most realistic person you'll ever meet <laughs> no maybe not but I I um you know I I do understand that 21 days is, is a long time whenever you're used to a habit and so I'm I'm gonna strive for a week first and then I will uh, try to go from there we'll see how that goes now don't get me wrong, if you follow me on social media, I will have someone to post onto my social media because I still wanna keep engagement up there. I still wanna grow my Instagram. That's one of my goals for this year. Um, so I will still continue to post, but it just won't. I just won't be able to interact and really keep up with it like I normally do. But you will still be able to find like healthcare quizzes and all that stuff on my page still. So, if you don't already follow me, at naturally underscore niece, N-I-E-C-E. -E. Anyways, off of that. So, I'm trying to go without social media. I'm trying to go without the radio for 21 days because 
most people will call what I'm doing a fast. However, what I've been taught spiritually about a fast is whenever you're fasting from something, whatever you're fasting from, the time that you would normally take in your day to do that, uh, whether it, it be eating or um, social media, whatever you're fasting from, the time that you would put, you would have in your day to eat, you wouldn't eat, you would go and you would pray and you would get closer to God, don't get me wrong, I am praying, I do believe in God. Um, but I'm not necessarily fasting to develop a better, better prayer life or to like strengthen my relationship with God. That's something I'm, I'm really doing, period, right now. But I am trying to get rid of social media for a little while and the radio because I want to get more in tune with myself. So um, I'm very transparent on my channel and I speak about how I I suffer I suffered ED from low self-esteem I suffered from low self-esteem for years due to the fact that I was conditioned from a very young age I remember since I was like five years old being told that just because of the color of my skin because I am a dark-skinned woman I'm, I'm very dark-skinned in the summertime I'm like people Africans mistake me for being African like African people think that I am like they ask me what country I'm from what part of Africa I'm from and then when I speak they're like oh I'm like yeah I'm from North Carolina dog <laughs> so I am dark skinned and from a very young age you know I have been conditioned to believe that just because I am dark skinned that I am below everyone else on the color spectrum um, and also because I have naturally very thick hair my hair is very thick it's very coarse um, it's beautiful don't get me wrong I can do a lot with my hair but because my hair doesn't have a loose curl pattern because it doesn't curl up it does curl up but it doesn't have a loose curl pattern when it does get wet that I'm just not as attractive or as beautiful or I'm less deserving than people who who don't look like me and I understand it's 2020 I understand I'm 32 um, but it, and it, it might take someone who's also on the same path or has been through the same things as me to really understand that yes I understand that we're in a, in a different climate now and that everybody fantasizes about being with a dark-skinned man you know like dark skin is is kind of like correlates to masculinity in a way so women of all races and shades want a dark-skinned black man because to them that just represents masculinity but let me tell y'all i have dated multiple dark-skinned men and just so again i only have like 12 minutes worth of memory on this memory card but i did buy another one but like i was saying before my camera cut off just because a man is dark-skinned trust me ladies that does not make him masculine at all i've dated some bitches and <laughs> they are dark-skinned but anyways, um, so being a dark-skinned woman, I have been conditioned. I remember in middle school when I first really started getting into boys, I remember multiple boys telling me, you're, you're a pretty girl, but you would be so much prettier if you were light-skinned. Or you're pretty for a dark-skinned girl. Like My level of attractiveness has always been determined by my complexion, and very rarely do I meet someone who finds me attractive just because I am dark skinned and I'm going to keep it real with all with everybody watching I have gotten more compliments on my skin throughout these 32 years of my life from white people than I have black people white people are so fascinated with my skin oh my gosh your skin is so beautiful it's one color that's the uh, that's like I don't know why people think that's a compliment your skin is all one color oh my god like well I mean this is supposed to be two different shades I don't get it but you know I hear that all the time and to tie this back into the social media thing because I can't go off on a tangent I find myself still allowing social media to feed that um feed that side of me or feed that belief that i have been taught to believe and i understand like i said it's 2020 dark skinned people are actually in style now however just because it's 2020 now that's not going to change all of the conditioning that i've had since i was five years old that's not going to change all of the things that i've heard since i was a little little girl so it me I have to be the one to change how I feel about myself 
and so that is why if you if you've been on my page if you scroll throughout my videos you see me doing things like meditation you see me trying things like CBD oil and affirmations and stuff like that because I believe that they truly do work and I believe that they work because I have I'm trying not to tear up right now because I'm a thug baby because I'm a thug all day every day okay anyways but I have realized that they they work and I've tried them consistently for the last 30 days and I have never felt as amazing as I feel I have felt in the last 30 days and I feel like I need to take time off of social media to really really get get in tune with myself and to really build myself up at this point because I am at a place in my life now where I'm 32 and I'm single and I, I can honestly say responsibility. Now, don't get me wrong. As the older people would say, my picker has been broke. I have picked some of the wrong guys. <laughs> but I have also ran a lot of good men away because of how I felt about myself. And I have realized that what we want in a mate are sometimes things that we ourselves don't possess. And I know that I have like I have I have met who I thought was the guy for me and I mean obviously he wasn't because he'd still be around but I have met someone who possessed like the characteristics of a man that I feel like I want to marry but accepting responsibility for my own behavior I did a lot of crazy crazy stuff because I didn't feel like I deserved him I didn't feel like I deserve to have that type of man in my life because of all the things that I've allowed my low self-esteem to 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 play out like the behaviors that my low self-esteem has brought to me like the, the things that I do just based off of having low self-esteem and not loving myself or being happy with just being me I have allowed those behaviors to show up in relationships and run run those people away like the people that are really for me i'm allowed to run those people away and social media it it honestly feeds that and i want to take a time away from social media and the radio because i'm in my car a lot because i want to take that time to feed me to sorry y'all like I don't want to take that time to like put into myself and so that's just where I'm at with it and you know some people might consider that being weak like I've heard people like talk about how you know well why if you can't be on social media and not feel any type of way then you know you're weak or you're this and you're that and I'm fine with whatever anyone has to say about it and I really don't want to be crying right now like I have nothing to cry about like your girl is good like my daughter is happy and healthy um school is fine I have a job I have so much to be grateful for so I'm in no way being ungrateful right now like I'm just keeping it real with y'all like like sometimes like social media still feeds that little girl in me to where I feel like oh wow like if I'm dating a dude and a pretty girl likes his multiple pictures of his like I start to feel threatened and it's social media like you're supposed to like people's pictures that's what it's for <laughs> like that's why people post pictures to get likes but you know, social media really feel, feeds that little, that inner child in me that, that, that still tells me that I'm not enough because of how I look. Or, you know, that, that tells me I'm not enough because I'm 32 years old and I'm, you know, obtaining an associate's degree and I follow people who have PhDs and, you know, who take these trips and do all of these things like social media still feeds that like unhappy person within me and I know personally I'm better than that and I know personally that my purpose here on this earth is to build to help people who 
who look like me and who have ever felt like me you know to feel better about themselves but in order to do that for someone else I have to do it for myself and like I'm just doing whatever I have to do to be that person. You know what I mean? I've tried so many things to fight depression. I've tried antidepressants and I've tried going to counseling and don't get me wrong, those things are great, but what I am seeing is that really like no one can fix me. I'm so self-aware and I know so much about myself and I've been through so many things that people have not been through. Like I said before, a lot of things that I may have brought myself to you know a lot of pain might be self-inflicted I'm not denying that at all but I'm what all I'm saying is that in order for me to fix me what I know to be I don't want to say wrong but what needs to be healed within me like I just have to be happy and grateful to be me and sometimes social media social media it doesn't help it it does not help it and you know don't get me wrong like I know that I'm a beautiful girl you know I, I have to tell people a lot of people they'll be like oh you look so different in person you look way better in person I'm not the most photogenic person in the world <laughs> I will say that um you know and there, there aren't too many guys that I have wanted and haven't been able to get I guess you could say like I don't have a problem in the area of attracting guys it's it's really just keeping them you know <laughs> like that's the problem and that's all because of me because internally I don't feel like I deserve this person so my behaviors reflect um how I feel internally and I want to fix that because I'm not gonna say I'm tired of being single because I honestly this is the first time in my life where I have actually like really been happy and feeling good feeling single like all the other times I've been single before I've been waiting on someone to come back into my life or waiting on that next relationship but I'm at a point now where I'm just letting God like handle all of that for me because I want something healthy but I also understand in order to get something healthy, I have to be healthy. And I'm not unhealthy. I'm at a much better place than I have been over the years. But, you know, I still have some work on myself to do. And honestly, I won't really know how how strong I am or you know how I really feel until I get into another relationship probably but I know that right now at this point in time I want to prepare myself for not only just a, another relationship but I just want to prepare myself for feeling deserving enough for everything that I want because a man is not going to make everything better he's a man is not gonna come into my life and just make me happy you know like I want to be happy right now and I am happy right now like I've never felt as good as I do but I still I still know that I still require some work I still know that I still have certain behaviors that I need to work on within myself I know that I still need to encourage myself and build myself up and a lot of times also another thing about social media outside of you seeing what other people do when you post something on social media with an Instagram's new algorithm, nobody's getting as many likes as they used to. And, and nobody. You you and nobody, period. Because Instagram is doing everything that they can to make it harder for people's work to or posts to to be seen. So if you're not already in the tens, twenties, thirties, millions of likes, like 10 like 10k followers, excuse me, millions of followers your it your your attraction onto your Instagram page is already not not a lot. And so whenever you put your stuff out there and it doesn't do numbers like you think it would do, that too takes a kind of puts a blow on your self-esteem if you're not at a good place. If you don't already know, okay, well this is me. Like I don't care what anyone else says about what I post. So, you know, just keeping it real with y'all, like, I, I want to take some time to really, like, love Lanice. Like, really be happy with, with Lanice. Really think highly of Lanice without anyone else's approval or 
without seeing someone else and, and I'm feeling good and all like damn she got a big butt like I ain't been able to go to the gym in two weeks like I ain't got no ass I'm losing weight because I can't work out like that because of nursing school like I don't need anything to make me feel worse about myself so I need to take time to do whatever I need to do to feel better about myself and so I'm going out social media for a little while like I said I'm trying I'm gonna start with a week but I'm gonna try 21 days and I'm going out the radio because the radio sometimes makes me want to go on social media and see what they're talking about. And sometimes the radio, like if I listen to a new artist or something, it makes me want to go on social media and check this person out. So, you know, just media in general. I really just want to take this time in my car to um, listen to positive stuff, listen to ebooks, listen to my lectures for school, most importantly, and just build myself up, really. Like, that's all I really want to do. So... This is another car chat. I wanted to share that with y'all. So sorry for being emotional. Your girl is fine. I promise. Um, I just, you know, I just wanted to share that because I I have these conversations with people. For some reason, people have the have really touching conversations with me. Um, but I have these conversations with people, and I I've realized that social media does the, is doing the same thing to everybody. And I've realized that when it comes to like self-esteem and building yourself up and positivity and all of that stuff, I know more than the average person because I've taken so much time over the years to figure to, to really figure all of this out. But now I'm trying to take the time to do the work. Y'all, I swear I feel like I'm racing against the clock. Every time I see that my storage is full and I got to delete something. So as I was saying before, my storage got full again. <laughs> I'm just gonna change the memory guard out. I, you know, I have been putting a lot of time into this whole self-help, self-improvement thing. These books that I'm seeing people say they're reading, like Think and Grow Rich or, you know, just all sorts of self-help books. I read those books years ago, but I was too afraid to talk about what I was going through. Or I was too afraid to admit that I had a problem. Way too afraid to admit it. Just out of fear of judgment. But now, I'm just like, well... I feel like I'm at a better place and I feel like you know it's okay to share your journey like everybody wants to be perfect or come off as perfect and come off as like these confident people and that's fine some people really did have what they needed as children um, to become great people as adults and they don't go through these things and so it's I'm not for everybody what I talk about is not for everybody however for the people that it is for like it's, gonna, it's, it's, it's okay, you know what I mean? Like, it's okay. Forgive yourself, forgive the people in your past that may have hurt you, and just don't live in your past. Like, learn from that shit for real. Like, really learn from it, and it's okay. Like, is this my turn? No, I need to turn this way. I think it's my turn. Y'all, <laughs> I don't really know where I'm at right now. I'm a little late. Um, I need them to go. Oh my god, why don't I have a green light? But yeah, so anyways, um that is that. And it would be a blessing if they told me I didn't have to come today. <laughs> if they were like closed or something today. <laughs> Because I really just don't feel like doing anything today, y'all. Coming off of those 12-hour clinicals are a beast. You be tired the next day. Like, you are working for free. You ain't even getting paid for it. So, yeah. I don't know. I think I missed my turn. Is this my turn? No, this I'm straight. I'm going the right way. But, yeah, so that's it, y'all. And, again, sorry to be so emotional. I don't like to call it emotional. I like to call it passionate. And, you know, like, I just, I mean, part of the reason why I'm, oh, I say this stuff is because what I've noticed about a, a lot, something going on right now amongst a lot of African American nurses is these Brazilian butt lifts, these breast implants, because even though we have different things to be proud of, outside of our bodies and how we look as nurses we're like some of the most smart people i'm going the wrong damn way we're some of the smartest people um you know but a lot of black nurses that i work with they're going and getting these 
boob jobs and 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 they're getting these Brazilian butt lifts and you know I'm not mad at anybody. I look in the mirror daily and wish my booty was bigger. For real. Like, no lie. But I don't want anyone to feel like they have to look like Alexis Sky or Ari Fletcher or what K. Michelle used to look like before she um, became, before she got all her booty taken out. You know? So. I just want everybody to know that it's fine to love themselves the way that they are. Oh, it's going the right way the whole time. And, you know, to be happy with who they are. And I am doing that on my own. Like, I'm learning to do that on my own. And sometimes it takes a little bit extra. And sometimes, and, and for some people it takes more, requires more. And I'm just one of those people and I've came to accept that. But at least I know that and I'm willing to work on it. And anybody else that's willing to work on it, let me know. So, I'm here and I'm late. So, let me go, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace.